Realtors, see your client's selling his home. He has access to this property across his neighbor's property. He, his buyers, they really wanna have horses. And you know what? They wanna be able to ride the horses up and down the long shared driveway that everybody has um, use of, right? Do they, are they able to do that? It's the country where we're living in. This is Western North Carolina. A lot of people have horses. Are they able to drive their horses over for leisure across the driveway everyone uses? Not necessarily. So easements are very specific in their uses most, most of the time. It's usually for right-of-way access to and from the property and for utilities and, and you know electricity, that sort of thing, and maintenance of those things. What's not usually included is leisure vehicles. You can't ride up and down on your four-wheeler, your ATV. You probably can't ride horses up and down that road. So be careful if you have a buyer that wants to do something with an easement other than what it's meant to be. Some people think if there's an easement there, oh, we can do whatever we want across that property. There's a, you know, a, a utility easement there. We can use it for whatever we want to. It's, it's, that's not how it works. It can be used for what it's spelled out to be used for without the person being burdened by that easement. If it's crossing my property without my permission, me signing another type of easement over to you or giving you more power to use that area, you don't, you can't just use it. So if you have questions about this, certainly check with your attorney. I would love for that to be me. My name is Zeno Lancaster with Lancaster Law Firm. If you ever have that sort of situation come up, let us know. We're happy to help. And if you've got a closing coming up, we would love to help you with that closing. Send it over. Let's get it going. Thanks so much.